people how do you how do you breed these people where are they gonna come from uh temp agencies yeah in outside of the u.s that's the answer they're gonna come from outside of the u.s and what's gonna happen when companies feel like they have to continuously pay these people they're gonna take their asses overseas and base their job there thank you so we're probably going to lose more jobs thanks to that but it sounds good to say hey there's more american jobs coming in do anything so i got it i had i had to say that like i said congress is out on congress is out on spring break or whatever the hell they're doing so there's not really too much going on there the judicial branch the supreme court they had a case man there was a case i don't know if you heard it but it was um it's like the the church of trinity this is actually pretty important it's the church of trinity something versus the state of missouri and what's going on is this church all they want they want to get um they want to get you know that rubberized those little rubberized tire pieces that they put on playgrounds yeah they want to get that for their playground and they want the state to pay for it because it's a school because it's for technically it's for a school because but the thing is is they are a catholic school yeah it's a private school so they're no. saying so they're saying this is in the Supreme Court right now. It shouldn't even be that far. And the thing is, is they're saying, hey, look, the state of Missouri is saying, hey, we don't, we're not going to give it to you because it's a private, it's yeah. it, we don't give to religion. The state doesn't the state and religion stays they apart. They're out of fucking tax break. Do they even pay taxes because they're a church? No. So what the hell? Here's the thing though. You know, here's the thing. I don't even know. Bro, Catholic school. Bro, we can go into it. Catholic schools. <sighs> bro, Catholic schools get funding for books, though. That's the thing. that That's the thing that trips it up. They because shouldn't be they, getting funding for anything. Yeah, but they do. So here's the thing. You can't give... If you're going to... This is what they in, should do. This we're going to give you all the rubber pieces, but now we're taxing you. Thank you. Like how, a school. How, how hard like, is that? Like an actual school. Like if you're gonna char- if you're gonna do that, they need to be a school. Yeah. Right. Like that's that's what it's like I common was, sense. That's what I was thinking. But this is in the Supreme Court now because the state of Missouri said no, we're not giving it to you. So now <sighs> there's gonna be there's this whole thing because now that it, now that it's in the Supreme Court now it could be that hey, if a church has a school, they can be funded by the state. So tax them. That's all I'm saying. Hey. Tax them yeah, all. that's it. it. They got to pay just like any other school would pay. They got to pay. They got to pay for everything just like any other school would pay. And I don't think they're going to do that. I don't know, man. It's interesting to see. It's interesting to see where that would go. This is actually going to be the first case that uh, uh, Trump's justice. I guess. I guess I can call him that now. Neil Gorsuch. I can go ahead and call him that. This is going to be the first case that he decides on. This is going to be one of the first cases. So they had another couple go through with like I think, but it was before he came in. So, so it's gonna it's gonna be interesting, man. Keep my you know keep your keep your eyes on that. You know what I'm saying just to see what happens between church and state, because that could change all kinds of laws, dude. Oh yeah, all kinds of laws, bro. You're talking about all of a sudden if states have to pay now for for Catholic schools and oh hell no, bro, it ain't gonna happen, bro. Well, think about how how's the state gonna get that money through the taxpayers. That's how that's going to happen, bro. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So if states end up, that's why that's important, bro. If the state end up having, ends up having to pay for Catholic schools, no. Christian schools, Presbyterian that's schools. That's why they're not going to. It's too much money. That's what Especially you. Especially if you're not even taxing the churches to begin with. Yeah. Here's the thing. No. That's what. That's why I'm wondering. That's how, one of two scenarios. They're either not going to pay it or they're going to pay it, but then or, they're going to start taxing churches. Yeah. Which they should do. So that way these freaking pastors the, the, the million dollar crazy, pastors yeah these guys that got like houses that are bigger than fucking yeah than with, compounds than yeah. like like air force they got these huge ass houses with fucking private plane runways and 15 cars but yet nobody in the church can live at their house fuck out of here insane bro i don't even want to get on that subject because well that's part of what that's part of what like it one is one of the most just irritating things about the united states because bro hey people because here's the thing man people exploit religion yeah people i want to go start a church exploit religion because and if i I'll, I'll get a church 
and I'll rent a building. I don't got to worry about why, taxing. Which is, why, which is why I tell you this, man. And I'll As just a- live there. We could call it the Blunt Sessions <laughs> Church. <laughs> the Church of... Yeah. <laughs> church of... <laughs> the Flo-Hio the Flo- Church. Ohio Church. Oh, that's it. Of radio. That's it. There you go. But I don't, I don't know, man. As a religious person, like... Put it this way. I always look at the message, not the messenger. So I don't really give... To the, like, I don't give more than what I'm supposed to give based on the Bible. But that's that's my whole thing. Like I said, I'm a religious person, so that's my whole thing with it. As far as what the preachers do, bro, every man has faults. So it's what it's whatever, bro. I always focus on the message, not the messenger. That's how I feel they when it comes to, start, to churches. They need to start treating these pastors and congregation leaders like. Record like big label, business like, like record label owners. Yeah, big not business big owners. business owners because those guys don't even get messed with. I'm talking hip hop, oh, no, hip hop record label owners. Like treat, Russell, them, treat them like, like Irv Gotti, Simmons, like Russell Simmons, you know or, Irv Gotti. Run up in the church, get all their money, go get all yeah. their paperwork, find out where all find that find out where going. all of it's coming from. But we, you know where it's coming. Yeah, from. Yeah, we know where it's coming from. The congregation. But where is it being spent on? That's exactly. The, that's the problem. That's the thing. That's the thing, bro. So. I get that. So that's well, why I don't deal with church, man. Yeah, I, I, I believe in spirituality. I don't believe in religion, man. Well, yeah. Re- well, religion, religion is nothing more than doing spiritual things. That's <laughs> it's doing something religiously. Like, if, if you want to take, if there was no religion on this planet, it would be peaceful. Yeah, because bro, even there's pastors. There's there's put it this way. Good pastors will tell you that there's a difference between being spiritual and being religious. Yeah, because religion has rules. Spirituality doesn't. Religion has rules that say, hey, you can't eat meat on this particular day. But if Which you is... believe in a higher power, then you know what I'm saying? That's just having faith in something else. Yeah, well, I, so, don't, I don't think a higher power is going to be like, oh, how dare this person eat meat on a Friday? <laughs> exactly. But see, that's what I'm saying. You know what that's, I'm saying? They got a lot of other yeah. things that they're probably thinking about. Yeah, there's, there's, there's other stuff that's involved. There, that's why I said there's rules versus, I mean, dude, if you look at the Bible... If you look at the Bible, bro, people should actually really, really, really dislike women. Because the Bible is like the one of the most misogynistic pieces oh, of, of literature. Because it, it was written by man. Exactly. It was written by freak misogynistic men. Yeah. The women weren't... If you look at everything bad that happens in the Bible, it's because of women. It, it's it, That's fact. Eve... Delilah, <laughs> I yep. mean, bro, you could. There's, there's, there's multiple women. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Bathsheba, bro. I could go through the Bible. There's so many women that were in the Bible that was caused the downfall of great men, and that's just because it was written by a man. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do now? Because I love weird transitions. Because I want to transition back. No, we're going back. Exactly. I want to transition back because when you're talking about religion, what better thing to talk about than our president, Mr. Donald Trump? So this is something that I like to call tweets from the top. And what I'm going to do is our president is known to be a tweeter. Yeah, (laughs) he's a serious tweeter. So what I've done is I followed him and you can follow us at ad hoc politics on Twitter so anybody out there who hears this, yeah, you guys can follow us there. But let me find him real quick because, like I said, I do follow him. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read off about five. I'm going to read off about five tweets. We'll go through about f- maybe three or four tweets, something like that. And I'm going to let my co-host just analyze it. I, this might wake you up. <laughs> no, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be fun. All right, so tweet number one. No matter how much I accomplish during the ridiculous standard of the first 100 days, and it has been a lot, including the SC, which is the Supreme Court, media will kill. He got all that in one tweet? One tweet, bro. 140 characters. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> 140 that's the characters. first thing I thought. Wow, he didn't abbreviate anything? Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, okay. SC. Okay. Supreme Court. Okay, I just okay. said Supreme Court. All right. So... What is your first? What is your thought? First thoughts on that when you hear that? Well, my first thought is, uh, you dumbass, you were campaigning the whole time about what you're gonna do within the first 100 days. Exactly. So now you should have never brought it up. 
It's a ridiculous You should be standard. like, I'm going to get this done, this done, this done, and this done. I'm not going to say how long because it's going to take a while. Exactly. Which is which is what every president before. But see, that's not knowing politics. I didn't hear Barack Obama when he campaigned in 2008 say anything about the first 100 days of a presidency. You could go back to Junior, Bill Clinton. Yeah, because None of you know them. what? They don't know. They probably don't sit around watching TV either. Exactly. They weren't watching Fox and Friends. They yeah. <laughs> they're not sitting there watching. They don't care about what the news says. Exactly. So Trump, on the other hand, probably turns on CNN or Fox and sees the little ticker in the corner that says yeah. 100 days. And all of a sudden he's like, oh, crap. I, I got to do, do something. something. <laughs> I got to do something. All right, man. You ready to move on to the next one? Yeah, sure. What else? What all else right. we got? Another terrorist attack in Paris. The people of France will not take much more of this. Will have a big effect on presidential election. I'm not even sure where. He... So there was a terrorist attack in Paris. I believe so. Did I, I think... miss that? Yeah, I think a couple of days ago. I think the guy shot up a few people. Yeah, it's like most terrorist attacks over. So it's like Nice all over again. Yeah, but I don't think it was as bad. So he says the people of France will not take much more of this. Sounds like he's campaigning for whoever is going to be running for president in France. Yeah. Oh, it's it's saying whoever is trying to get... I think it's saying whoever is trying to get reelected. It says we'll have a big effect on the presidential election. Yeah. That makes sense. So if you're trying to get reelected... Or if you're trying to get one of your friends... Here comes this guy. Yeah. Because he's obviously taking shots at whoever is the president now. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, hey, look, hey, y'all are still getting attacked by people, and y'all don't, the people can't take much more. Rise up and say something. Nice. All right, number three. China is very much the economic lifeline to North Korea. So, while nothing is easy, if they want to solve the North Korean problem, they will. Oh, so essentially he's just saying, yeah, I was talking a bunch of shit about North Korea, <laughs> but but I don't really plan on doing anything. Y'all That's do this. China's problem. <laughs> Y'all take care. Bro, I just thought about that. Too. That makes perfect sense. He's like, yo, look, y'all handle that. Yeah, he, I know what I was saying. He basically just said, y'all handle that. I know I was saying I'll probably preemptively strike them, but... I just found out that my <laughs> China China's a whole lot closer. Exactly. And my ships aren't really necessarily equipped to do anything about Ugh. this. Yeah, bro. Let me let me find another one. Let's see, let's see. Come on now. Let's come on now. Oh, those were his top ones. Let me uh let me go. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Man, there's a lot they, they there's a lot of there's a lot here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I just had to. It had to load up again. Let's see. We talking about practice. Okay. We're going to use American steel. We're going to use American labor. We are going to come first in all deals. I. That sounds good. It does. It sounds like something you'd say on the campaign trail. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say this man might still be campaigning. Dude. Now are they actually going to use American steel? No, they can't because they've already started using other steel. Imagine that. Yeah. I mean, how how are you going to use American steel if they've already started building with something else? At what particular point do we look at this? What, po what point do you look at him and go, dude? Are Didn't they say something about like they were using steel from China? Yeah. To do the wall? Yeah. They <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I don't know. All right, look. Uh, the Great American Wall brought to you by China. Yeah, exactly. All right, so. But it's a cheaper steel, but it's 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 fantastic steel. It's it's tremendous steel. <laughs> the wall's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. All right, last one. And this will actually lead into this will lead into kind of kind of the next segment. Um, a great honor to host a great honor to host the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots at the White House today. Congratulations. Uh, well, for, first off, let me start off by saying that I hate the New England Patriots. Yes, me too. Uh, let me also state that I saw a picture and they compared that football team to when Barack hosted the football team. 
It's a much lot less people. <laughs> much smaller than when Barack did it. Yeah, it's a lot less. And I'll call him President Obama.